Hello everyone. The other day while I was browsing the internet, I came uh, across a pirate uh, multi-card for the Super NES. The curiosity of this is the cartridge has uh, only four fighting games. They were more Mortal Kombat 1, 2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Killer Instinct. Well, my first thought was, well, this is overkill because it is too much of the same game. I say, which one will be the games that I would choose if I would have a four game only Super NES multi card? Let's check it out. With modern day tech, you can put an entire Super NES collection on a flashcard. But I don't really like the idea of having the limitation of only choosing four titles. Also, I self-imposed two rules. I can repeat a game for the same saga, for example, no Turbo and World Warrior or no Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, and only for USA releases. Later, I might do a top 4 for Japanese-only released games, or even a Sega Genesis list. So, let's begin! In the 90s, if you could not afford a Neo Geo, the only way to practice at home your fighting game skills was to have either a Super NES or a Sega Genesis. I don't want to start here a console war, but I always prefer the SNES as my fighting game machine. There were a lot of Capcom, Midway, SNK and even original fighting games released for it. Capcom, which was SNK rival company in the fighting game department, also ported many of their best fighting games to their SNES. We have four Street Fighter titles. We have World Warrior, Turbo, Super and Alpha 2. Most people tend to prefer Turbo for a better balance, speed and popularity. I choose Super. The enhanced graphics and sound bigger character roster and huge variety of game modes like time attack, tournament and group really takes the cake for me here. Alpha 2 might be a more modern fighting game, with more characters and suburbs, but the frequent load times and the slowdowns really put me off. But I have to confess that I played a lot of Alpha 2 on its day, I was marveled at how my little console could run that game decently. Also, I did not have a PlayStation 1. This time, Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers, it is really my Street Fighter game of choice. While Hyper Fighting might be the more popular, and Street Fighter Alpha 2 might have really really good stuff and lots of uh, new things like suppers, counters and more character variety. Super Street Fighter really really nails it for me. The game has a, a great balance and the most important issue from the arcade game is fixed here, the speed selection. Mortal Kombat games in the SNES were full of ups and downs. Of course, we are talking here of a vastly superior hardware, so the ports were really difficult to do. My reasoning for picking Mortal Kombat 2 was for the technical balance of the game. The graphics and sounds were really, really close to the arcade, and also it had a 4 vs 4 game mode, and also it had some secret cheats. While I feel that the game has some delayed hit detection, it is nothing that I feel would break the game. I really like the balance that Midway struck with that port. Graphical and sound, it is really good and close to the arcade, and also you can do most of the original combos on it. <laughs> If you all know me, you totally knew that I was going to pick at least one of the Mortal Kombat games to put in the card. While Mortal Kombat 1, obviously, it is not a good choice because of the glitches and the unbalanced gameplay it has, 
Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 really does not cut it for me. The game has so many flaws, it can even crash in mid of the fights, and the close combats it is not as good as the, as the arcade. Mortal Kombat 2, instead, it's really, really a, a better package. The animation of the killer race in SNES port is really smooth, even when comparing to the arcade. The same can be said of the sounds and music, that while some lacks the punch of the arcade, they give us a really well-rounded package. Where this game excels really in my opinion and even tops its arcade big bro, is in character balance and hit detection. The game feels tighter and you can't do most of the dirty stuff from the cabinet here. I'm looking at you, Cinder. But this does not mean that the game is free of its own chip shots too. Some weird humble cable attacks can be done here if some conditions are met, but even so, I still feel that this game is more playable than the original. Ready. <laughs> Killer Instinct is an obvious pick. The game is a SNES exclusive and uh, it is really a good package uh, for what it has to offer. Uh, the game has nice graphics, even when compared to the arcade, a lot of easter eggs and secrets, the mobility is really really good and it even fixes some of the arcade glitches. Come on guys, you knew I was going to pick Tournament Fighter as my final game? This game is too good, really, for me, the best fighting game on the SNES. The character variety is really good in Tournament Fighter, while we have the usual Ryus and Bison archetypes, the game managed to keep itself fresh and also introducing some new stuff to the genre, like the super bars and super special moves. Well, I am aware that SNK did that first. The game's balance is nuts, and you can be defeated in two combos in 10 seconds, if you don't pay attention while playing. There is also some abusable stuff like thick throw patterns, reduce combos or even random unblockable attacks, but even with all of this, the game is mad fun at any competition level. I'm a predictable guy, you know this game was going to be featured in my fictional uh, Super NAS multi-card. Try My Fighters, it is maybe the best fighting game on the console, it has an awesome roster, a wacky balance and it has a thriving community behind it. While doing this list, the runners up were Fatal Fury Special Samurai Showdown and Matey Morphin Power Ranger Fighting Edition Well, this is it for now I hope you enjoyed my first uh, YouTube episode. Uh, a big shout out to Charles from NewChallenger.net, to Sue from the Clay Fighter and French community, and everyone who is following me on Twitter and YouTube and in Facebook. I hope you all are enjoying this. I hope to do uh, more content for the channel. And uh, please follow me, subscribe, share, and let's keep fighting.